I'm Caroline Renazetter here with Celeb Secrets backstage at the semifinals of The Voice, about to interview the top eight. Incredible performances tonight. How do you guys feel? I honestly feel, I feel amazing. I'm excited. I'm ready to go home and eat. But yeah. <laughs> what are you going to go home and eat? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. What about you? Chick-fil-A, duh. Chick-fil-A. What about you? If I eat at Chick-fil-A, there ain't going to be nothing left for y'all. Yeah. I can tell you that right now. I'm hungry. So. Yo, we should yeah. do like a Team Kelly like dinner behind the scenes. At Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I'm down. Chick -fil -A. Do you think Kelly would come? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. You know, I felt like tonight I was in the zone, and it yeah. felt good, you know? Um, for the la for the whole season, I've been trying to establish a good routine on just like eating well, sleeping well, exercising, making sure my anxiety, my depression, all of that business is kind of dealt with, mm -hmm. you know, so that I could be the best that I can be on the show. And some weeks it's hard, and some weeks it's like this where I was just feeling good, and I could focus on my, my vocals. But I think the majority of what I'm feeling right now is contentment. I was watching you perform tonight, and I was like, I want that girl's <laughs> secrets just to be able to go up there and own it. You are inspiring so many people, so many young women, young men, every, every human I can imagine. Don't let fear take a hold of you. Yeah. I think that's what it is. We allow what other people think about us to dictate our futures, to dictate who we are, and that's not what it is. Um, there's an innate self that's inside of all of us. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we listen to that and we're patient to listen to ourselves, mm -hmm. that you can let all that other stuff melt away. Totally. You are a voice semifinalist. Not hard to believe because this voice is absolutely incredible. I take yourself back a year ago. Did you ever think you'd be here? No. So first of all, I got cotton mouth. My breath is a little hot, so I just want you just want you want some oh. water? No, I'm okay. It's just still, it's just a little hot. My breath is hot. Sit. Come on, sister girl. Oh. We got an outside. We got an outside. We got an outside. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming, Cliff. Take yourself back a year ago. Did you ever think that you were going to be asking for Altoids on The Voice? Never thought I would be asking for Altoids, talking to you, your beautiful self. Never. Like, I quit my job to pursue music full time. Mm -hmm. In under seven months, um, I prayed for exposure. And then two weeks later, I was presented with this opportunity. Like, Chills. Yeah, Chills. It's, it's really crazy because I, I budgeted my money for a whole year and I was like, I'm just gonna go, we're gonna get on the road, we're gonna do shows. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing it, I was booked, you know, I was working and it was everything was good, but it's just crazy how under a year, not even in a year, this happened. And within that year, the year that I, I quit my job in June of 2018, and in June, I was here okay. in California auditioning for The Voice. So, for the blind audition. Ain't that something? That's incredible, but the, the way things are meant to be, the way things work out, and we're so lucky to get to watch you sing. I'm telling you, watching you tonight, my full body just chills. You're incredible. And so when this show is over, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking to really jumpstart my you know, career in music and uh, continue to grow as an artist and expand my fan base. Amazing. Yeah, I'd say the same thing. I'm, I'm excited to put a lot more originals out there because um, I love to write music and I think the show has given me a platform that now I can kind of take that and you know run with it hopefully. <laughs> and when you talk about doing original music, is that something you've been working on for a while? Is that something you've come into later in life like songwriting, all that stuff? You know, it's funny because I've never written a full song like on its own, but I have so many sentences and like just lyrics and just all kid, like I can't even write like paragraphs and they won't even like add up it's just like throwing things together to make a song but um, I, it's an interesting way of writing I guess you could say and with your coach's support I'm sure I mean you have one of the best songwriters in the world as your coach how does that make you feel John Legend is a musical genius in all areas of music um, he's just been so incredible to work with and he's really encouraged me to you know, be confident in myself and to stay grounded and stay true to myself when it comes to doing all of this. 